What can I tell you? The shock I experienced when I first viewed these maps of Antarctica shattered my mind. I experienced a complete collapse of reality. You can't find this stuff on Google Maps. What I saw could not possibly exist. It had no precedence at all in the modern world. Whole mountains merely carved statues? Spaceport mega cities? Brilliantly illumined? Buzzing with activity? Resting in tropical hued splendor? In this, the most forbidding, treacherous climate imaginable? So, of course, I had to descend into this madness further, further. One lost mariner stealing snapshots of secrets not secret anymore. Here only the Southern Cross keeps constant fix. Everything else just spins spins spins. The first wave of European Antarctic explorers heroes all returned babbling. Those with no knowledge or imagination dismissed such sights, so easily scoffed at, as hysterical nonsense. Obviously such tales were just incoherent rantings, sad confirmations that the brutal ice kingdoms were no lands for the foolish to challenge. Fortunately, stronger souls discerned in those heroes fevered ramblings hints of obscure, quaint legends from long lost times before time. But those stories were kept by simple polar dwellers a whole planet away aboriginals of the high Canadian Arctic. Was there any connection between the two? Did Canadian Inuit tales of a magical world within a luminous aurora borealis hold the key? We haven't dug far enough to know what's really down there, have we? Our deepest dig, a 12 mile deep hole, isn't quite the center of the earth, is it? These were just the first waves of uninvited, colonial wanderers who fell off the edge of the world. We've come a long way since. We know better now. Soon NASA will even tell us whether the moon's a rock, a balloon, a clock, perhaps. Can the same be said for this terra firma?